Everybody scores me for sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. I slept, you slept, he slept with somebody. That sleep, how to get away from that scolding? <laughs> Wonderful question. Oh, one of my students took me to his father. He was a big businessman. And his father said, my success was daytime I never sleep. Neither I allow my children also to sleep daytime. Night is a very good time to sleep. That time I was thinking early morning I get up and I teach till 9 o'clock. That is morning 4 o'clock. Sometimes I get up around 2 o'clock to do my yoga, I'm sure Sazen. And it's a long process of teaching and teaching by the time, and it's a physical teaching while you're doing that time. And then, <laughs> 9 o'clock classes are all over, students are gone everywhere. Then I go to have a, take a nap and then only I have my breakfast. <laughs> um, that time I was thinking what he was telling. The former joint director, Anumanda Pasar, he is no more, he recently passed away. When I was going with him to his native place in Sira, of course, when you are sitting in the car, you intend to sleep or intend to hang out. Hmm. That time he told me, never ever sleep while you are traveling because such beautiful places you can see. Open your eyes and see, you will never get that opportunity. That time I was thinking that was also the right way of meditation, right way of consciousness to understand what is good, what is bad, what we can do better, what a beautiful nature, etc. Yes. <laughs> Sleeping. In the military I heard they, they don't allow you to sleep more than five hours. That is all your training, if you train. Because the more you allow your body to sleep, diseases intend to enter. One step leads to 10,000 steps. And if you take one step of the sleep, it leads to 10,000 of your laziness. Yes. One time I was sitting after the class and one of my students, Gopi, came and said, Come, since I will go out. I said, No, I think I am very tired. I can't come. I want to be here. He said, you are not tired, you are lazy, get up and come. I got up and went, we had a nice day for another two, three hours. Uh, I was going out eating and driving and coming back. This sleep, sleep might be a laziness, look into that. Sleeping in the daytime, this is 39th, sorry, from Zen flesh, Zen bones. The master Soya Shaku passed from this world when he was 61 years of age. Fulfilling his life's work, he left a great teaching far richer than most of Zen masters. His pupils used to sleep in the daytime during midsummer and while he overlooked this, he himself never wasted a minute. When he was about 12 years old, he was already studying Tendai philosophical speculation. One summer day, the air had been so sultry that little Soin stretched his legs and went to sleep while his teacher was away. Three hours passed when suddenly waking he heard his master enter, but it was too late. There he lay sprawled across the doorway. I beg your pardon, I beg your pardon, his teacher whispered, stepping carefully over Soin's body as if it was that of some distinguished guest. After this, Soin never slept again in the afternoon. <laughs> the greatest boxer. Mike Tyson, everybody knows, was asked by one of the journalists, I heard you wake up morning 4 o'clock for your training. After all this big publicity and name and all, what's the purpose of you getting up early morning at 4 o'clock? You are strong, you are powerful and still you wake up at 4 o'clock. He said, no, 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 I don't wake up at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock, I'm already on the road doing my practice. <laughs> I said, why? He said, you should be one step ahead of your opponent. If your opponent, you heard your opponent is getting up at 4 o'clock and doing his practice, then you should be up by 3 o'clock. And if your opponent is up by 3 o'clock, you should be at 2 o'clock. Whatever power you have, whatever spirit and 
speed you have still you should be one step ahead of your opponent that was my success oh that was shocking <laughs> the people from the leprosy home run by sisters of charity of mother teresa when in told mother teresa the inmates of the leprosy home they are never inside they don't listen to us they jump the wall they go outside they come back drunk this is happening almost every day we have not been able to convince they told mother trees mother did not say anything because they don't want to scold so one day when mother was walking in the street or maybe she knew these people are begging in the street and what little money they get they use that money to eat outside and drink and make noise so maybe mother took a stroll down the road where they were all begging and he went one to one of the inmates who was sitting on the road and begging he said how is your business <laughs> that's all all the inmates next day on his sister called mother teresa and told mother not a single person left the ashram <laughs> what uh, magic you did he said i didn't do anything i saw them begging in the street i went and asked them how is your business <laughs> So master Soyu Sokol passed from this world when he was 61 years old fulfilling his life's work he left a great teaching far richer than that of most Zen masters his people used to sleep in the daytime during mid summer and while he all looked this he himself never wasted a minute never wasted a minute yes recently the the living god goddess of karnataka shrimati premila nesar with the the former women and child chapters he visited our ashram and she was she was telling me rakum you must go to israel and i will make arrangement you must go and see the israel they don't waste a small space also not small even one glass of water they can teach you how many varieties of thing they can make money out of that one glass of water not even a space smaller space they don't leave every space has been utilized every minute has been utilized <laughs> yes so you know the power of the israel they control the world control the american economy <laughs> they have been destroyed totally so if you can know you can the all the engineers is to tell me the civil engineers is to tell me the only one thing we are we are not frightened of you guruji also we are not frightened of the um, gods because we don't care but the only one thing we care is the gap if the mason doesn't mix the cement properly and if the building have the smallest crack what enters the whole building is gone when the kyoto earthquake happened is my best friends also gone when the kyoto earthquake happened one minister of japan said it may be the engineers who constructed the flyovers must have overlooked certain things they overlooked they didn't say made a mistake next day can you believe many of the old engineers it seems committed harakiri yes the smallest mistake can create not harakiri for you but so many people died in that earthquake because of the flyovers all crashed so that smallest space <laughs> you create a disease by sleeping in that smallest sleep. sleeping means unconscious he did not disturb them when he was young when he was 12 years old he already studying tender flaws is speaking one summer day the air had been so sultry that little so and stretched his legs and went to sleep while his teacher was away when the teacher walked inside yes 3 hours passed when suddenly waking he heard his master enter but 
What did the master say? Excuse me, Sumima Singh, Sumima Singh, Sumima Singh. He did not even disturb the children sleeping. With no need. You have to be an example. When, the, when your students are doing 10 push-ups, you have to do 11 push-ups. You should be one step ahead. You should be faster than anybody. All the teachers, not only I'm talking about the masters. School teachers also, they should be much faster. What the school teachers in my school, they do is, they don't even do anything they enter the classrooms they don't even sweep the classroom they didn't don't even take a dirt they insert the assistant you take you take why you are not cleaned up they keep only complaining to the monitors when i was in japan attending the winter camp summer camp the first summer camp if i go the first thing is the japanese master who's a great grandmaster he first walks and the whole beach he cleans up with his own hand, seeing that he won't even ask us. He won't even say, please pick up that. He directly, and he's like a god. We are around 200, 500 people in the camp. He just walks, he started picking up the hole, the dirt in the beach. And then we all walk behind him and clean up. After that, only the training starts. After the training, one more round. Same dust in the winter. From the winter camp in the Mount Mitsumiti Mini Yamai. <coughs> It is full of snow. He brings the snow spade. He removes to create the space for us to practice, for us to walk. And seeing that we also, we forget that snow suddenly, the freezing temperature. We can die any moment. But when we saw him doing, we did it. And suddenly we found, our, we are sweating. <laughs> we are no freezing. You be an example. You be the change for the change you asked for. Mahatma Gandhi said, you be an example. When they said sleeping in the daytime, it is not sleeping. You are even in the daytime, you are unconscious. They say when the whole world is sleeping, Krishna is awake. It's not that Krishna doesn't sleep. He is conscious of the every smallest thing happening. They say the mother, a smallest mother is working and she hear, hears a child crying somewhere far away. She immediately knows the child is crying, but people around her is not conscious. I thought it was something great from the mother's side. When I was running the school, when I'm talking to the guest or somebody, I can still hear a smaller sound on the first floor or second floor. The I immediately say, run. Even if I hear a small water flowing out, I can scream, look, the tank is overflowing. Go off it. All right, run to off it. It's just a consciousness. That consciousness is your truth. That consciousness makes you a human being. That consciousness makes you strong. That consciousness keeps you away from diseases. You are healthy. Be conscious. Sleep means you have to be conscious. Even if you are looking at something and you are not conscious, means you are not. You see your wife and you are not conscious of her beauty. Apart from the physical beauty, you have not seen a sister and a mother inside her. You have not seen a goddess inside her. Same on the husband's side. Then you are unconscious. That first step of your unconsciousness destroys the house. You don't have to. Even in the house you can see people are one person talking and everybody listening. You don't go to that house anymore because they are very strong. You don't have to teach them. You see when the father is talking or the mother is talking, everybody is shouting at each other. You don't have to do anything. That house is destroyed. Yes. I went with my Japanese friend to a country. And that country wanted to do business on car business. And usually we used to ask 100 years, 200 years of history to find out how to do business. And my Japanese friend said, no, 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 nothing of that, sir. Come, we'll just go sit on the road. Hey, what is that got to do? This man has got police, punk, uh, he's got politicians under him, he's got money power, he's got the uh, local uh, mafia with him. Uh, everything he's got. We can just start the business. I said, no, no, just come and sit in the road. I, we sat in the road and he said, look, in this road, hardly any vehicles are running. We cannot do business, he said. 
I said, what, what is that got to the business? He said, if people don't have money to burn the petrol, if you put your money, <laughs> you will not get it back. You must go, if you want to do business, go and sit in a road and watch. If there are vehicles running left and right, the people have got money to burn. Invest it here, you will get your money back. Becoming conscious, don't have to look 200 years of history. Sleep, you will get a beautiful sleep after all this hard labor. And in that you will wake up automatically out of five hours, not eight hours.